owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Today I wanted to take a few moments to do a review of this. This is a Midland 77-225A CB radio. This radio came out in the mid-80s and I don't think it was around for too long. There's also a uh, model number, I think it is 25225A, which is the same radio just with a black case. And uh, these are considered one-handers, and there's a couple different companies that made them. Cobra makes them, Midland makes them. They make these to this day, not this style. They're much, much more improved. But this was one of the earlier ones. Radio Shack had uh, the one-hander series, which go all the way back to 23-channel radios, and they made some 40-channel ones. But I saw a GE one that was quite nice that was set up like this. Um, end result is what we have here is a radio for a person that has no room. And you, you don't see this, but this cord here goes down, actually goes up underneath there, and there is a second half to this unit. And that's really where most of the CB circuitry is. But here in this handheld unit, I've got everything that I would need uh, to operate a CB radio basically in a, in a one-handed solution. I've got my push-to-talk channel up-down selector up here, and uh, you know your speaker and microphone channel indicator and power bar. And on this side, I have a uh, emergency push to channel 9 and your volume and squelch control. So it really, it's not that much bigger than a standard mic, if you can see it in my hand here. It's not that much bigger. But what's nice about it is it takes up no space. If you can find a spot on your dash to hang it, well, then that pretty much got you covered. Now, and, uh, I had another Volvo like this one that I had a little TRC-503 stuffed in. And it will fit, but it was down there where the shifter was and it kind of made it difficult to get to. With this setup, uh, it's you know all my controls are visible. I can pick the thing up, and uh, it works. Now it's not perfect. It has some disadvantages as well. The speaker that's built into it is a little tinny, and I found that it seems to me whenever I get these one-handed units, the audio quality, the speaker quality, is always a little subpar. And uh, and that goes from uh, I have had a Cobra version, which I I'll show you a picture of, or you may have seen in one of my other videos. It's not installed right now, so I can't show you what it looks like, but. You know, the unit in the Cobra, they're both kind of the same. I've never had a Radio Shack model, but I assume, you know, your limitations are it's quite a small speaker to be to be sending out music or sound or whatever's going on on the CB. So that's the downside to it. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. I've got this hooked to an ancient Radio Shack magnet mount antenna up on the roof that's been on probably five or six of my cars and maybe five or six of my uncle's cars over the years. And I don't know how it's still hanging in there, but it's still hanging in there. Uh, so it's not like the most powerful system you're going to come across, but uh, it works well. I use it for uh, getting traffic updates when doing uh, long distance traveling, and uh, for that it works great. And also, you know, in a convoy situation or if you were following somebody, you're you're looking maybe three or four miles of range easy. If you put a better antenna than one I'm had on there, five to seven would not be an impossible feat for this. So it's a great little radio. I wanted to uh, show it off, uh, do a little review on it. Um, we can turn the volume, well, I'll turn the squelch up here and, and see what's going on. There was some locals talking on 28 earlier. It's really early in the morning though, so most people are at church. I'm getting ready to head out myself. There's somebody. Anyway, gives you an idea of the sound quality. It's not the greatest. I don't know how it comes through on the uh, on the camera of microphone, but it's a little tinny. And there's no tone control or high-low or anything like that. So you're kind of stuck with what you got. That being said, I've made plenty of contacts. I don't think I've ever tried DXing with this radio, but I'm sure it's possible. I'll leave it at that. That is my short review of the Midland 77 225A. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Take care.